probably notice I've changed my intro up a little bit. One evening I was talking with a friend, we were talking about my channel. He said the advice I give and some of the things I do really don't just apply to diabetics and it applies to anyone that's trying to manage some type of health issue. And I said exactly that's what my channel is um, about. It's not, I just happen to be a diabetic, but really the EKG can apply to uh, anyone that's trying to manage their health. And basically after talking with him, I said, well, maybe that is getting lost in the message that I give every week. Um, because every week I don't address this, what have you. I just assume anyone watching my channel knows that EKG can apply to anyone that's trying to manage their health. So instead of making that assumption now, I'm going to take the whole diabetes reference off um, up front. I change manage diabetes to manage your health. That way, um, every week it's right there in front. So everyone, so if someone new to my channel knows this is for anyone that's trying to manage um, their health. My issue just happened to be diabetes, but the EKG that I recommend that I really talk about that what my whole channel is around, it can apply to anyone that's trying to manage their health. Um, know your numbers. Like for me, I'm a diabetic, so the numbers I need to know every day is most, what's my glucose level. Depending on where you are in your diabetic travels, some people have to take their glucose, their glucose reading multiple times a day. Where I'm at right now, I only have to take it once a day, and my stride, my goal is to keep it like that. Um, some one thing may be um, high blood pressure. They have to take their, they have to know their numbers. I know their numbers. I don't know what the frequency is, but I do know they should know their numbers and know where the high blood pressure is. Um, your thing may be cholesterol. You have to um, know your cholesterol number. Are you getting better doing the things that you're doing? Uh, you need to know your numbers. Um, if it's, if it's, uh, prostate cancer, you need to know your PSA. And most males, in any case, need to know what their PSA is on a um, yearly basis. So, knowing your numbers can apply to almost anyone that's trying to um, manage their, um, their health. And that's the K. I, I went from the E, I skipped the E, went straight to the K. <laughs> uh, e. E is um, eating healthy. <laughs> Everyone, again, regardless of what you're trying to do, high blood pressure, you need to eat healthy. You need to uh, reduce your sodium. I think that's what it is. Um, if it's if you're um, high cholesterol, there's some dietary restraints there. So it's eating healthy. Like me, a diabetic, try to eat healthy. Try to keep things low uh, low carb. Um, e K G. Get off the couch. Getting off the couch um, is good for everyone. Um, if you're managing a health issue or just trying to remain healthy, yeah, you need to get off the couch. Um, stand on the couch watching TV or just if you're playing games, that's your thing. Yeah, you need to get off the couch some and be physically active or just be active mentally. Um, like I think a couple of videos ago, I showed you me and one of my hobbies. Um, one of my hobbies, I'm an album collector or, a, or an, and an audiophile. So I showed you going through my, uh, restoring my albums. Um, so just that's a mental thing and that's not so much physical, but it's a mental thing. But again, it's getting off the couch, just mindless watching TV or just laying around not doing um, anything. So getting off the couch, whether you're a diabetic, um, high cholesterol, um, high blood pressure, any of those, any millions of, not millions, any other ailments, getting off the couch um, is, is, is a good thing. So your EKG, um, be managing your health with the EKG, I think that applies to almost um, anyone that's trying to manage the, the, the health. And also, so something doesn't, so something doesn't get lost in translation. Part of my EKG or part of managing your health is keeping current with your doctor's, doctor's appointments. Going to the doctor, getting medical advice, following their advice, and also understanding what they're saying. Go do your homework. Uh, those of you that grew up in a Baptist church a lot like me, uh, I've heard preachers say all the time, Read it for yourself. Uh, when you get home, you get it. Um, go look it up. Go look up that verse. So the same thing uh, with you in managing your health. If the doctor says something you don't um, understand, number one, ask him um, to explain it to you uh, so you understand it. Then number two, when you get home, tap your network, whether it's Google, whether um, it's 
cousins, relatives, kind of tap that network and tell them what you have or what your doctor told you. And you may be surprised some of your network may have experienced um, something like that or they may know uh, how to manage uh, what you're dealing with. Again, for me, managing your health is really a holistic approach. Um, you have your team members that you can bounce things off of, can be your, um, I guess, cheerleaders um, when you need cheerleaders, can prop you up when you need to be propped up. And also um, a wealth of knowledge um, when the doctor tells you something or your medical staff tell, tells you something that you don't quite understand even after they explain or you may understand it. It's good to have someone to uh, maybe you can talk things um, over with. So for me, I'm a diabetic, so that's my issue. That's what I'm trying to fight. Um, as you know, if you've been following along for the last couple of weeks, I've been saying I'm going to start a detox for, for two weeks now, and I still haven't started. Um, the detox I really wanted to do was a two-day detox of Art and Gardens. I couldn't find it, so I was going to switch over to a seven-day detox. And unfortunately, within that seven days, uh, we had planned on going out. We had planned on going out of town, so really don't want to be on a detox and out of town, what have you. Again, the two-day detox is probably more aligned my alley. As you can see, as you saw up front, my numbers are um, going down. They are trending downwards. So what I've been doing is beginning to so show some results. Uh, my numbers are tr trending downward. Um, but I don't know whether I'm going to get to this detox thing again because within the next seven days, <laughs> next seven days, we're going out of town again. I won't be here, so I don't want to be on a detox um, being out of town. Uh, so anyway, on to the next step. Okay, my next stop here is the Echelon bike. Um, that that would be my get off the couch today. Um, the weather here has been very crappy, particularly on the weekends. So getting out riding my bike um, has been a hit or miss proposition. So I'm going to do some indoor riding today. Um, if you never heard of the Echelon, it's basically a peloton. The peloton and the Echelon they are competitors. Um, I guess there's some subtle differences in them. The Peloton comes with a monitor, whereas the Echelon, um, you bring your own monitor, whereas it would be an iPad or a phone or something along those lines. Um, but all of them, uh, both the Peloton and the Echelon, you have to um, fire up their app. Um, with the app, that allows you to attend a class, well, attend a class, um, you know, a live class that's going on somewhere in the world. Or you can do a class on demand. What I decided to do, um, I did a class on demand. Um, but the classes on demand is basically once was a live class and now they have it in their library and you can pull it up. And the cool thing about that is it's tracking your um, stats and it's showing you where you are. You know, um, if you had taken the class live, where would you be You know, as compared to the other students that took the class live. And I thought that was pretty cool. Also, to spice things up a little bit, I decided to show you this video in that solid movie type um, effect. Okay, here we go. There was one thing I didn't like about the on-demand class I selected. There wasn't any climbing. This class, it was all in the saddle. If I would have known that going in, I probably would have selected a different class to attend. But this one was all in the saddle. I really wanted to get out of the saddle some. I guess I could have got out on my own, but I didn't do that because I said, as soon as I get out of the saddle, probably the teacher gonna say, okay, out of the saddle, since I didn't know um, this class didn't have any um, climbing in it. No, no hovering or anything like that. So I probably wouldn't choose this class again. I probably wouldn't choose this class again. But other than that, it was okay. You know, we changed the pace some. Also, you see me, I guess, talking off, like I'm talking to someone, I'm watching my grandson, or my grandson is watching me. <laughs> That's probably more the case. This is a over the shoulder effect so you can see the class right there on screen and you also see my grandson there but that's what it looks like um, that's what I'm looking at I guess as far as the class the 
again, this wasn't one of the this wasn't one of the better classes I've attended on Echelon. Um, not for what I was looking for. Okay, anyway, my uh, grandson got tired of watching me, and I ended up cutting this ride short. But instead of, instead of getting a whole hour in, I did get about 30 minutes in. All right, on to the next stop. Okay, I'm getting ready to fix something to eat. If this is your first time tuning into my channel, I really hate cooking. I mean, I really, really hate cooking, but I can follow a recipe. Uh, today's recipe is from Delish, and it's a recipe for Bang Bang Cauliflower. The interesting thing about this is, I never cut up a cauliflower before, so I had to watch a video to see how to cut up a cauliflower. So I had to watch a video to see how to cut up a cauliflower, and also I watched a video to see how to make bang bang shrimp. So this should be pretty interesting. Also, at the beginning of my vlog, I told you I was kind of changing things up. Not to just concentrate on uh, diabetics, but that's what I am. I'm a diabetic, so that's what I'm trying to do. But this is for anyone that's trying to uh, manage the health. My EKG applies to anyone that trying, that's trying to manage the health. Whether it's your high, whether if it's high blood pressure, high cholesterol, um, keeping count on your PSAs, the E, eat healthy, K, know your numbers, and G, get off the couch. It applies across the board if you're trying to manage your health. So the E, eat healthy, that's what I'm getting ready to do. And as a diabetic, the thing we try to do is try to uh, reduce our carb intake. That's the one thing that really help our glucose levels. So anyway, here I go. Hey, I'm finished. Actually, it looks pretty good. It looks like Bang Bang Cauliflower or Bang Bang Shrimp. You know, that's where I was first introduced to the Bang Bang thing was Bang Bang Shrimp at, what was it? Uh, I guess at Bonefish. Anyway, but like I say, it looks pretty good. Can you see it there? Let's see. Yeah, okay. Let me give, let me give it, let me give it a shot. Okay, tastes like cauliflower, doesn't taste like um, bang bang shrimp, but actually it's pretty decent. Uh, will I do it again? It's a good chance I'll do it again. <laughs> Alright, don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe. <laughs>